This is Bumper to Bumper TV. If you're expecting a clown to jump out of this car, then this review will be a disappointment. For the record, this is a production vehicle being sold in the North American market as the Scion IQ. In Europe, it's been on sale for a few years as a Toyota IQ. It's only 10 feet long, and to put that in perspective, check out how it fits into a standard parking space with nearly enough room to put another car in the same slot. Hmm, wonder if a two-for-one special would be available on the meter. Technically, the IQ is a four-passenger vehicle, and for most adults, the front seats work out well. As for the rear, well, you be the judge. With these dimensions, the IQ is classified as a micro subcompact, and curb weight is 2,100 pounds. There is a new engine under the hood, a 1.3-liter four-cylinder model delivering 94 horsepower and 89 foot-pounds of torque. Yet the fuel economies don't hit the 40 mile to the gallon mark. The IQ only comes with a CVT transmission with a variation on the shifter gate. The shifter it has the drive position, has an S position, and then a B. The S is for braking. The B is additional engine braking. One of the reasons they achieve better fuel economy than otherwise achieved with a conventional transmission is the continuously variable transmission has the ability to be disengaged completely from the engine so you don't have any parasitic draw on the crankshaft while you're sitting at, for example, a stoplight stop sign. On city streets, the IQ can maneuver without challenge unless you end up in the blind spot of a full-size SUV. Our concern was on the expressways where competing for a space on the pavement can get tricky. To our surprise, the IQ gets to passing speed quick enough to get out of its own way. We also found that noise level is acceptable even at highway speeds considering the small size of the cabin. What is obvious is the IQ is designed to fit in small spaces and get a driver around town without an entourage. As the fourth offering in the Scion lineup, it's an attempt to revive interest in the boutique sub-brand from Toyota. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.